And we begin a lot of people come up and ask us, so what does Ask a Black Dad and Woman think of the Montgomery uh, Sweet Tea Party? The Sweet Tea Party? You mean the Montgomery Brawl? So, so we're going to put our two cents in. And we're going to try to break it down the best we can. And in uh, two words. <laughs> really? Let's go. <laughs> All right, so everybody's seen the video. Everybody saw it. If you ain't seen it, you've been living under a rock. And it was out there all different angles. Everybody different. had angles. They even got a song for it all. What? The Montgomery Brawl. You know? <laughs> so and people sell t-shirts and every kind of thing. Yeah, you gotta, cha- you gotta capitalize. You gotta capitalize. capitalize. I, saw, I saw some chair earrings. I mean, really, entrepreneurship. So, but woman, when you first saw it, let's, let's break down because they want to know what we thought about it. We went to an event, some people asked, so what y'all think about it? So what did you think when you first saw it? And we're not going to show it here because everybody's seen it. So, and if you haven't seen it, please go online and, and, and look at it if you want, you know. So I mean, it, it's been out there on all different angles. Like the first initial angle that came out was, you know, them jumping him. You know, nothing before, nothing after. I was like, what in the hell? I didn't know what was going on. You know, but I thought it was, it, 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 t- it took it took me back. It took me back to some of the things that we've seen on the news, in history. You got all these white men and, and women jumping on this one black guy. So I really didn't have any context at first when I first saw it. It was just a sad situation. Well, what you thought? I, I, what, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was karma and karma came like a beat. So I thought it was a boomerang effect. I looked at it and I said, first, you, you, okay, what's happening here? And then when you saw what happened, I understood the pride that black people, well, black people were like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and again, we got to say this. I don't condone violence unless you come for me. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. Well. If you come for me, I will condone it. Well, I'm just but saying that video, you know, there was some condoning that was going on. So, there. but you know, if you, I, I put it like this, if, you, if you're going you to break the eggs, you might as well make the omelet. Well. You know what I'm saying? Don't be running around. And, and so I looked at it and I said, okay, come up into this guy. You know it was what I'm like, saying? When you mentioned karma, it was like instant karma. I know that when they went in, they didn't expect all of that. Yeah. You know, and I don't think I don't think even the guy who helped try to move the, the he, he works for the boat, he's not the captain, the co-captain, or his, his shipmate, uh, first man. He tried to just move the boat. You know, there's boat there's boat um, etiquette that goes on when you have a boat. Okay. So he was following boat etiquette, and these you had two groups. You had group two A, what? two oh, groups. groups. You had two groups. Group A, which were the white folks, and parent kind of broke down like that. And group B, which was the black folks. And then you see how America and other people are responding to it and they're breaking in the camps, which shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Because you had one group that was definitely wrong. You would say the other group might have did an overkill. But we can get into why that may have been an overkill. But you could say one group was to overkill mode. But I don't even see how they even thought they was going to get away with it. Because they, they, you know, honestly, well, all, I mean, honestly. Did they not rely on the fact that somebody was going to jump in and help this one man no. that they was jumping? Most people, I, I've, I've been involved in people before, you know, and, 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 you know, you've heard stories about this. People will have a car accident and go get some help and somebody do some harm to them trying to look for help. You try to look for help. People, you know, I've been in situations where I've had like uh, a, a, a young lady who's in trouble. And other people are like, oh, leave him alone. Don't help him. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Let me ask you this. If you was there, what would you have done? I refuse to answer that question for the grounds. <laughs> then it may incriminate me, so I'm taking a fit. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. I mean, it was so when you look at the videos at all different perspectives, because trust me, it's out there for the people who are on the boat, the people who are there on the dock, the people who is above the dock, you know, there was some myth busting going on. And what I mean by that, they say black folks don't know how to swim. What the fuck you just say, nigga? Well, I know how to swim. Marine Corps, you gotta learn how to swim. Anyway, dude knew how to swim that day. Yeah. You I'm gonna give him credit for jumping in the water, but if you actually look at it, he was 16, which I don't blame him, but he was 16 and he tried to help, but he actually, I never saw him like, once he swam over there, he was kind of tired. 
he got out the water like that. Woo! Because your clothes get wet when you're swimming. Your cl- people don't understand your clothes actually get wet. And you know. But the young man had good intentions. He had good intentions. He had good intentions. Uh, I mean. I would have been like, put the light vest on me because I can't see Don't. That was a, that was a, when the, when the, when the black first mate, when they, they when they jump. Remember, that was another, uh, a, a white young, I think he was 16, 17 too. He was working with the boat people too. So he was with the black guy helping to move the boat. And he went to try to break up the fight. And Group A punched him. And he was like, that's not for me. <laughs> No, I get I'm it. Not in. Saying they think you're in. I'm not in. I get it. I am not in. And he walked out. And, I, and I'm gonna jump on some of those. And I'm gonna say some of those black folks that said, "See, that's what happened. He wasn't committed to helping." That dude is young. He's inexperienced. He's 16. He getting hit from a dude who's 30 some years got, old, 40 had, some years old. Right. He went in with that 16 year old energy. Uh-huh. You know, I got. And then he got hit by a grown man. Everybody he got was a plan. like, nope, not ready. Everybody got a plan that they get hit in the mouth. <laughs> but, but, but I'm gonna tell you this: is that he delayed, he took away one punch that would have went one, to, the old, to the other guy. So don't jump on him because you know, because if you're gonna jump on him, the 16 year old boy, he jumped in the water. The Aquaman, Michael Phelps of the black community, <laughs> the Aquaman, Michael he, Phelps, he jumped in the water, but he got out the water and he's like, okay, <laughs> because he look, he ain't count on that. He, he, he when he, he got out, he said, like, okay. Just a little heavier than I thought. Mm-hmm. This, these guys look a little bit bigger. They look like they or, might be going 30 year old punches. Or he was tired after after that swim. Them clothes got heavy as hell. They, whoo, whoo. Yeah. Me and my one friend was saying we we were surprised that he got up off the dock. Because sometimes when you swim that far in them clothes, it's hard to lift yourself Wait, up. Guess what? But, that, but the, that's, a, that's a young man. So but you know, yeah, that, that, it's that uh, adrenaline. So don't jump. For one thing, they, yeah. they get you going. So don't jump on that little white white guy who's helping them, who went to help the black guy. He got this. He got hit by a man, and he realized, <laughs> I, I ain't in that league yet. You know what I'm saying? So I understand. Yeah. Because I haven't saw one perspective from the people who were on the boat, and this was like leading up to it before it was, you know, before it escalated. And so they were like doing a play-by-play how, you know, they told him not to park the boat there, but of course they parked it anyway. You know, he went to go, the gentleman who, who got jumped, he went to go move the boat because I guess you were explaining to me before is that etiquette. you know that that boat etiquette. What you know about boat etiquette? We ain't never had no boat. Well, when I met you, I lost friends who had boats. I used to have wow. friends who had boats. And then they, uh, I married you and settled down to life without boats. Wow, I guess I'm better than a boat. You know what they say in, in a what what, a, what stepbrothers or something? Boats. boats. <laughs> So I used to be that life. But anyway, but let me get to, a, a lot of people want to know, I'm going to tell you, when people were cheering, and, and some people were like, that's boo, the lady got hit with the chair. The lady got hit with the chair, she should have put up, it's in that fight. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to be involved, stay out of it. And I'm going to tell you something too. You know, there's no such thing as I go into it, and then when I say I quit, it's over with. Well, look, look, that whole chair thing, I think was still an overkill. You know, I, I, of course, I'm pretty sure possibly alcohol was in a, uh, but no, but no, let me tell you this. So recently he turned himself in after he got him an attorney, chair guy, we'll call him chair guy, but I think his name is Reggie Ray. He turned himself in and they only charged him with a misdemeanor. Well, he lucky because they charged him with a disorderly conduct. I think out of that, everybody who was arrested, I believe I read that he was the only one charged with a misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Everybody else had some type of assault charge, everybody was which in they there, should you know, have. But, but that whole chair thing, Bruno, he was beating her with the chair, and then he came he back, and, and then he though. came back, and I think he hit somebody else's chair, and he came back and he hit her again. He wanted to make sure I she understood think, that he had seen this. I think. <laughs> first time. I first think time she he understood when she didn't get up, and she was like, "No, she's about to like, get up. She's about to get up." And he said, "Oh, you I understand?" But I'm gonna say they they started something, then they ran to their boat when they realized, "Oh, we outnumbered now." It's too late now. And I'm gonna to all the people who jumped and said them black people were wrong. Group B was wrong. Hey, look, Group B was the black people. I didn't even mean that. I I, I caught that. I didn't even know that. Wrong. I didn't even know it. But listen, Group B, I'm gonna tell you this, and, and and I hate to say this, black people have, I can. We can't show y'all this because YouTube gets mad. They used to have un, 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 unaliving of black men and women by ropes. You know what I mean? And they made an event where they had picnics and then they would cut body parts off as souvenirs. There's pictures of them laughing, having a good old time as this person's getting. So I, 
So this sense that, oh my God, how dare this indignant indignation that all of a sudden, you know, because they went to help this guy. Y'all would have said something different if it was, foot was on the other shoe. Well, the foot has been on the other shoe. Yeah, I think that was an example of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. You know, you down south, you in Montgomery, Alabama, right? This is going on. This is an example of sick and tired, sick and tired. You can't keep allowing these things to happen. And you know, we no longer are you going to stand by anymore. Don't count on that. Yeah. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. Hey, you know, like what I wanted to say, he said, these hands of, of my grandfather's 65, 64, 60 civil rights movement ain't these hands of the 2000s. You know what I'm saying? I, listen, I don't condone violence. I really don't. But right now, America is pushing black people. America is pushing black people. You're now telling us, hey, Y'all learned some good uh, 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 qualities in slavery. Oh, skills and, skills and, skills and, and trades. trades. You know how many people died as slaves? They died. I ain't talking to people who died before they came over. Right? I ain't talking to people who said, I ain't going to be no slave. Jumped off and, and jumped on the boat off to the wild shark infested waters. Or the ones who died from illnesses and sicknesses. How about the ones that was unalived by people on in, in tension because they was too old? Or they Un were too weak? Unalive. And then they're going to tell you your history. Uh-uh, baby. We're going to rewrite history for you. They doing, you know, they talking about right now that the Supreme Court said, no, nah, ain't no more affirmative action, baby. Let me tell you something. I have five wonderful children. One, two, three, four, five. They all graduated from nice colleges. Case Western Reserve and the other four from Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. My son graduated from Case. You know how many blacks graduated in his class? What percentage? It was like 4%. My kids graduated from Miami University. You know how many, what, what percentage of blacks was there? 3 to 4%. So where is this black folks getting all these, these scholarships that's killing everybody else? Come on. It's not there, but y'all picking on it. Come on back. You're going to a different subject. I'm just saying, this, mm -hmm. when, when people talk, if, if white folks would have did that to black folks, y'all been doing it. Y'all been doing it. Don't you understand? And I'm not trying to to alienate any of my, my supporters who, 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 who may say, well, wow. But I'm just saying, you, if you don't understand history, you don't understand what's happening in America, the rise of the Karens, you know what I'm saying? The Karens have gone crazy. Black people be out there barbecuing. You want to know why we barbecuing. Those Karens have always been out there. Marlo. And then you got people who, who, who unalive young black men. This is happening in 2017. Unalive young black men for playing music too well. You played your music too loud at a gas station. You don't even own a gas station. You getting gas, they getting gas. You didn't like their music. Some dude dancing and you didn't like the way he was, because he happened to be uh, uh, maybe gay or something. You really didn't know, but you thought they was they was acting too gay. So I'm gonna unalive them. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I remember that you know you there's certain neighborhoods you couldn't go to. Mm -hmm. And I remember one kid. I was in high school and he went to buy a car. I, I'm gonna say Howard Beach. I want to say it was in Howard Beach. He, that's I think it's in New York. And he went to buy a car. They thought he was one of the black guys who was dating somebody's sister. When he wasn't, he was just going to buy a used car. And they chased him. The kids chased him. His one friend got beat up, but he ran into the middle of the street and got hit by a car, and that was the end of that. Black people, America is pushing, because, and I'm going to say this, it wasn't nothing new, but 45 has accelerated. He put gas on the fire. That's what he's done. You got, pe you got people that ask him, so do you think slavery is wrong? They sit there and tell you, I no comment. You know, you, you can't keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and now people don't want it, you know what I'm saying? The ignorance is showing of those who are ignorant yes. and, and, you know, and it's passed down ignorance, right. you know, to be honest with you. So that's the reason why it's important. Even let me show you some representation. It's really important for us all to support each other in the things that we do. You know, when you see some injustice, you know, that is going on, it's important to get out there and vote. You know, it's important to vote at, at your local level. It is important to vote out to, every election. To, at, at every election, at every level. But the decisions and the laws are made, you know, not by the president. The president. He ain't got you know, it's, it's, about a it's, it's your, exactly your state senator, your state representative. your representatives, and things of that nature. Oh, so man. don't think that I'm only going to vote at the presidential election 
to evoke change. You got to vote at your local level. You got to vote at your state level. You have to vote at those levels that make the decisions, to make the to make the laws. But you know, going back to the video, Varno. You know, it, even as we talk, and, and the thing is too is that the algorithm is real because with the algorithm, once you look at it the first time, you get all the different you know shots in regards to it. I just think honestly, it's a sad situation. And and if people are defending Group A. And then you hear the captain say, Group A is a bunch of a-holes who don't live in Montgomery, who always come down starting stuff. And all, so you're defending, I mean, this, you know, I had a guy, I did a, follow me on on, 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 on TikTok and, and, and Facebook as well here. But I did a thing about Jason Aldean's uh, small town. Mm -hmm. I had a guy go on my DM. See, some of my cowards too. My brother said I should expose him. I don't. I, I'm not like that. I'm not... I'm not, you know, I let, but he said I was un-American because I shared stories about when I was going through small towns in the service and stuff. And one dude said I was un-American. He don't know what service I was in. And then he went on to say, that's why when Trump gets back in office, we don't get rid of people like you. Now, what the hell does that mean? See, it get rid of people like me. Because it means your ignorance is showing. So, so if you see black folks jumped off that boat, because they get stuff like, because maybe they get messages like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't American enough. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? Who determines what American is? You know? You know? I, you know I, but I, like, anyway. We, and like I said, it's, it's. I guess I guess it's freedom of speech. I thought it was American. So it's no. not freedom, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is when you say something I don't like. Listen, I, I like, look, if you want to say that, I, you, you know, I'm a, I'm a piece of crap because of my skin and color, I'm like, hey, go ahead and knock yourself out. But when you want to pass laws based on that and try to hide the fact, well, I ain't saying you know, I'm just passing the law to make sure that you know how I feel about you. You want my kids to believe that, you know, oh, slavery wasn't that bad. Uh -huh. Slavery, you know, it wasn't that bad. You know, that that's comparison to saying that all oh, the Holocaust wasn't that bad for, for, for Jewish people. They weren't that bad. They learned a good a good trade. You know, you learned how to clean uh, showers, showers out or something. I mean, come on. Everybody wants to minimize the atrocities of the United States. Yeah, of us too. Oh, the, the Indians, the, the Native Americans, don't worry about them. The United States was formed of atrocities. Yeah. So that, with that being said, listen, we love you guys. Hey, the video was funny as hell. Some of the comments on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook are funny as hell. I love the song. Montgomery bro. You know. I like the comments better than I like the video. Because sometimes sometimes if you see some of them, it's like the play-by-plays. But I don't, you know, but the people who jump the fin group bay, I get you want to defend them. But don't sit up there and say, what if the shoe was on the other foot? Because the shoe's been on the other foot all this time. And so don't do not do that. That that part I didn't like. And then you want to, because you do it all the time. You know, Ahmaud Aubrey. Yo, he was just one man jogging in the streets and in Georgia. And so I'm saying it's happened a long time ago. He was just jogging down the street in Georgia, and four people, three, three or three of them, decided to take video of it and unalive him. And they shared the video amongst themselves now. And it's only when one person from somebody else saw it and said, Oh, this is wrong, and reported that's the only way we knew about it. So let's be clear. We do not support, we do not support violence. Mm -mm. But the fact of the matter is, is that those individuals who started group a group a got exactly what was coming to them and it is what it is you broke that egg you broke that egg you're gonna make that omelet and you got scrambled because you know it's true story one time we was making chili when at, at home making on seventh grade and me and my friends were playing around we dropped the chili on them i mean not the chili but the hamburger on the floor the teacher looked at us and she said pick that up fried but when you fried it what? the drums go yep she did so we made the chili and then she, we had to taste chili. I was like, I ain't eating that. So I got a deal on that. We got a deal on that. But she told us, honestly, that's what y'all get for playing around. If she wouldn't give us no more hamburger, that would get playing around. We dropped the hamburger on the floor. She told pick it up. No, it's a true story. Did anybody in your group eat it? No, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> but she wasn't giving us no more hamburger. So good thing hamburger. Hey, so y'all was effing around we, and found we out? We effed around and found out. And so did that. So like, what do you guys think about it? You saw it. Hey, this is a chance you can speak your mind. If you want to send us a, a short video about, you know, maybe we'll, we'll post your video on a, a TikTok or something and see what you say. Uh, we, we, we do have editing qualities that are, that are enhanced. It'll maybe have to cut it out for something to give an hour long speeches. With that being said, uh, we have a giveaway coming up. We're finalizing it. We're in the process of finalizing it now. If you want to give to the channel, 
help us advance uh, and push it out. We, we welcome that. Uh, follow us on all social media platforms. To all those people that gave me a, a shout out on my birthday, which was August 10th, I want to thank you guys. To the, to the sponsors of the Taste of Black Cleveland, yes. we had a ball. We sure did. We, we did. And, them, and I'm telling people that next time that comes around, them VIP tickets are worth it. Because yes. the concert alone that they had, because VIP tickets What came concert, Barno? The LL Cool J Power. Force Tour. Force Tour. The Force Tour. The celebration of hip hop. Ooh, LL, y'all. Oh, here we go. Why wasn't the West Coast or, the, or, or, or Texas? Maybe that just Why wasn't they represented? No, they, we shouldn't have represented. We, they should have I said we. They should have been represented. I'm just saying. You know, I love me some cube. That, that makes a little pock when he was with Digital Underground. But you know, it was kind of it was kind of East Coast. Hey, I'm more of a West Coast man myself. Well, I enjoy. I enjoy the show. Yeah, they got down, and, I, and Light was my girl. MC Light, that's so right. I would have married Light back in the day before I met you. So with that being said, if you've got any emails, you want to send us to send it to Varno Harris at Ask a Black that Varno Harris at Ask a Black. Dad. Black Dad. Black Dad. Black Dad. And with that being said, until we see you again, remember. <laughs> we love you. And don't make me break that chair out. Because <laughs> I will do it. Varno. And I got the special black edition. <laughs> Varno. <laughs>